Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2, where we are gonna go do the thing at the docks. With the place. With the thing. With the people. And yeah, we're good. We have people. We have good people. Docks. Night time. Wait, no! Is the other one just not showing up or something? I thought them coterie what? me for sure. What? I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. That is a two adult boys, boys coming out of that tiny I ran. body. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. You do not. But they did. Okay, it is weird. That is so weird. His face even looks like it's. they tried to like make it an adult face and then they stuck it on a kid's body and then they just gave it an adult voice. Like that's just... Oh god. Is that a Thenrail's rival criminal guild or something? You would think I would know. More like she's their rival. A small one at that. Stop talking, you're creeping what me I out, hear Major. Is the coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall. And they don't like competition. Just how old are you? <laughs> uh yeah, no, I'm gonna ask you're that. You're a bit young to be doing this. I'm fifteen. But I can usually pass for a man. Uh... My mama was ripped in two by one of them big horned darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. I'm creeped out. I am so creeped out. To feed the girls. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, uh, nope. I'm taking the goods anyway. Oh, boy. Uh, the general told me this was my last chance, so we were back on the streets. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do now. Okay, I might freaking start that over, but you creep me out, kid. Okay, fine, I will redo that one because that was mean and that's not what Hawk would do. But did you see the way that kid looked at me? Like the way that I thought he was gonna turn into a demon. I'm not even joking. I thought he was gonna like turn into a demon right then and there. That was creepy. I thought it was gonna be like, I can't feed my sister. And I was like, oh my gosh. I can usually pass for 15. Or something. I don't know. I can usually pass for God. That was. He's creepy. That kid is just creepy. Like, that is the creepiest kid I've seen in a video game. Oh, hey, let's give, um. Real quick. I won't make you guys watch the battle again. Uh. Take a freaking health poultice. If your health is low. I don't know why that doesn't just come with it. You know? Use health potion. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
My mama was ripped in two oh, by one boy. of those big horn darks. Don't even know. For the okay, only fight. Way to... oh, Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? There's always work to be found on farms for a healthy young man. My father was a farmer. Before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Thenril. I am just uber creeped out by that kid, but it sounds like... Was he ripped in half, was shirt in half by a Kunari or by a Darkspawn thing? I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us. Oh, but that does have repercussions because Athenril wanted the goods, didn't she? But if that kid is sincere, then I hope that was helpful. And that was good. I think, I mean, like, Hawk, she's, you know, she's a jokester or whatever, but she, uh... Doesn't so much have a heart of gold so much as like that story probably would have resonated with her because of Bethany and her situation, you know? And she knows what it's like to be at the bottom and trying to climb your way up. And she had the advantage in that she was older and had serviceable skills, but this kid didn't have that much of a chance, you know? And so she's telling him to get out while he can, you know, and start somewhere fresh, you know? And working on a farm isn't great, but hey, it's something, you know? So. So that makes a lot more sense than just tossing a coin at the kid. And she understands family. You know, understands family responsibilities and stuff like that, so. Um, who else? Where, where was the... Okay, report back to it. Then rule. Low town docks by, oh, by day. By day, really? That's unexpected. It looks like something's on fire. Something's on fire. Docks. Yeah, okay. And we can beat up any cart of dwarves too. Part of the game. I keep thinking I know you from somewhere. You're Ferelden, right? <laughs> time with That's it. You used to really like that girl with the griffin tattoos, right? What was her name? The Lay Warden? That's right. I think you were there the night I... Oh! Were you the runaway mage who could do that electricity? Wow! Thing? That was nice. I don't think I need to know this about either of us. <laughs> <laughs> this is but there this is the second time I've had them like chat. Why is this here? I'm so suspicious. Um let's see. Commoner. I think the canary is spying on us. <laughs> you think? Oh hey, are you the finer's keepers guy? I'm looking for some cargo. You're in luck. Cargo all around. <laughs> Take your pick. A laborer with a smart mouth. You hardly ever see those. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for crates sealed by the Orlesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbormaster. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Ah, oh, you're helpful. Thank you, my good hey, man. If you're done wagging your tongue. Can we get those sacks off the docks? Right. 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 Right out. Let's see, uh... We do a lot of walking, don't we? <laughs> It'd take five Ferildans or ten elves to do my work, and you know it. Oh, okay. Is it... Where am I going? Stir off my area. Oh, this is the harbor area. Okay. Maybe. Shipping manifest. I think I lost it. <laughs> well, then you can't bring your goods in. Viscount's rules, not mine. Uh <laughs> you should take credit for those rules. <laughs> oh, Adam, deal with this. Are you going to beat me up? I apologize on Liam's behalf. 
He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the Harbour Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a Legion cargo. How do you know that? I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. You're a bad. <laughs> I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. Oh, hmm. I understand. Is this enough to help you remember? Ah, it's, it's coming, coming back, back to, to me now. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse, by the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. Only two sovereigns? Yeah, man, it was worth it. Oh my gosh, we're just running around. Wait. Uh, is it... Is it through here? Nope. Uh, that's the... Can I go back in there? Well, it looks like I can. I wonder if I could talk to him about the Kunari uh, that we saw. Hey, let's uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna bring Fenris. I'm not gonna bring Varric. I'm not gonna. Ooh, should have. No. Uh, Fenris and Aveline can behave. Hmm. Isabella, I don't think can behave. <laughs> Did I have a mage with me before? Was that an issue? Um, let's see. I should have left my good shoes at home. <laughs> what? Welcome! Welcome back! <laughs> Here, let's, uh... Save. You are allowed, Asra, until the Ari Shock declares otherwise. Okay. Where is he? Is he still around? I'm so interested. This city exists only to defile itself. We have little to discuss, human. For now, I would think on the fate of this city. Um... Did we already say this? I've had confrontations with others in your command. There have been a number of incidents, but you must mean Arvarad, found dead after tracking Cerebas. I thought nothing could threaten Arvarad. You're not angry. A mage is dead. That is what matters. The rest is impressive. Okay. But do not repeat it. Um... Oh, should I tell him that? Oh, I don't know. That might get, get people into trouble. We'll see. I believe a member of the Chantry intended it to happen. Friend and enemy blend together in this sea of filth. I can barely discern one group from another. But as this clearly means something to you, I acknowledge the risk taken. Sarabas chose death over leaving the Kuhn. That is good to hear. That is all you have to say. I will not insult Sarabas with the suggestion that making the right choice was difficult. I expect as much from every Kunari. I doubt Sarabas earned a greater honor in his life say, than yeah. my reaction now. Yeah, I think that that probably... The fact that he acknowledged a mage as a Kunari, that's really quite amazing okay we asked all these other things farewell panahedon human panahedon alrighty then interesting I am so interested in the kunari like and these are but these are not like, not like oh cuddly like oh cool I'm like I legitimately am intrigued and fascinated but also a tiny bit worried because I don't think it's gonna end well but it'd be interesting to like form some sort of alliance or relationship with him you know what I mean like like a a recognition of each other's skill or something I don't know you know but we will take 
All right, uh, remove. Oh, wait, nope. I was trying to remove all. Remove all. Okay, so we need you. Y y y y you and you. You guys are funny so far. <laughs> uh, we want to go... This way. Hello? Hello? Paramount spoke Whoa. to you, Hello. Whatever reward he offered, we'll offer you more to kill him. Nope. How about I take care of you instead? Stupid bastard! I've done enough to Harrowmont's family, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I can do that too. Oh, dang it! I, I always do that down. wrong. Hey, lady, don't mind us just fighting in the street. <laughs> it's so difficult. Good job that will have me. Figures. They're like, oh, hey, try to do this tactically, and I'm like, yeah, it's all well and good, but... Ooh, who's that? Is that Isabella? Who is that? It is, I think. Whoa, that is crazy. They always come up on both sides, so I can't, like, back us into a corner or anything. I'm gonna work on my willpower, too, I think, next. I need more stamina. I love it when a plan works out. <laughs> Oh, she, I was going to be like, holy crap, did she really just say that? It was close. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> oh, Hawk, she's so funny. I like her. I like her. Are you more guys that want to... There's someone coming. Tell what? the others. Me? What? Who are... What? This is private property. Oh, oh. Fire? What? Who owns this warehouse? Master Woodrow. Oh, I okay. It's rented storage space. I don't know what the fire was gonna do. What are you guarding? Imported goods. Um. I must have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> Be hey. off with you then. Let's see. Hang on, hang on. I said this is private. Oh, property. I don't have the fire option anymore. I don't know what that was. Let's see what's behind that door. <sighs> no visitors allowed. Okay, hang on. I'm be off with you <coughs> then. <coughs> um well the auto save was before we went in to talk to the air shock. <sighs> well, is there no other way to get in there? Because all these guys are going to attack me. I'm curious. I'm really curious. Oh well. I probably shouldn't reload too much. I said this is private property. Uh, sorry. You're in my way. We're under attack. Mayhem and destruction. Okay. Oh, this is like the exact same place where we found the Thrask's daughter. Hey, you guys come in or what? Tread lightly around. Okay. Well, where does it want me to go? Down here? Oh. Easy. 
easy as pie. Okay. Where are they at? I can't, I don't, I can't see. Let's get the high ground. Go back up, go back up, go back up, go back up. I'll stick you like a bitch. Hit him with it. I'm just hitting you through the door. Don't worry about it. Eh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Who's that one? I'm assuming really that there's not gonna be a whole lot to pick up, but yeah, I keep picking up these stupid little junk items. I found it! Ow! <laughs> yeah, ow! I wouldn't breathe that in if I were you. Looks like Martin's trading in death. What? What do you mean? You have been a good friend. Oh, what do you say? Better than I deserve. I once knew a sailor like you, but lost him in a hurricane. Very sad. Does Varric say anything down here? I think you've got enough coins. Oh, okay. I gotta finish all the other quests first. my strength but I also really want to up my willpower because I'm sick of running out of stamina so I do like the speed though well, let's find a fast travel point oh there's great Stamina, yeah. I take those sometimes. An elf and a dwarf walk into a bar. The human says, You're lucky you're so short. That hurt like mad. <laughs> you could have just stopped me. <laughs> Why waste a perfectly good setup? <laughs> what? That's awesome. They're palsies. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Okay, um, where are we at? Where are we, I'm gonna go to the Hanged Man Finders Keepers. What do you think, Isabella? Apparently, he's dealing in debt, says Anders. I don't know. What it, I don't know if anybody else would have said that, you know, or like if somebody would have said anything. Sometimes I think you have the right idea. Handcuffs, whipped cream, always be on top. Woo! I never used to give two bits what anyone thought of me. Like Justice once asked me why I didn't do more for other mages. Like from I told him it was too much work. But I couldn't go back after that. Couldn't stop oh, thinking about okay. it. okay. Sometimes I miss being that selfish. Huh? Were you talking? I was still at whipped cream. <laughs> 
it because I was kind of curious. Because, yeah, when you see Anders on Awakening, he's like, oh, it's too much work, it's too much work. But obviously a lot happened. Maybe Justice was working on him. Maybe he was influenced by Justice somehow. Or maybe he just really, he got, grew up a little bit and was like, I am, I'm done with this. If there's something I can do, I want to do it, you know? So. Guess what I found. Crates filled with enough poison to assassinate oh. every noble in Orlais, and then some. I knew I should have told you not to look I in the crates. I would have looked in them anyway. Look, there's nothing shady going on here. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier. Legitimate. And I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. Is that your favorite new word? It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? Um... I think... I don't know. She obviously... Well, frick, I don't know. Alright, so she likes to make the money, right? But I think she also... For some reason, Hawk seems like she cares that it's poison. And that it kills people. So... Uh... I mean, she kills people too, but... And she uses poison, so that's why I'm kind of like, uh... Um, I don't know. What would you do, Hawk? I, I think she would tell him. I don't... It's like not really any of her concern either, you know? But I, I don't know. I guess we'll try this. Oh boy. Plus 10 rivalry. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm curious to see how the other one would work out. Let's see. Cuz I think it auto saved when we came in here. So, we'll tr load. Yeah. Oh, I think we did get some money, even though we refused to tell him where it was. I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. I don't think being a rival with Isabella would be bad. Says something like later, he's like, I, he's like, my my heroics always end in tragedies. He's like, I think that says something bad about me personally or something. Merchant Woodrow's place. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up. I'll give you a discount. Oh. What? I got friendship from both of them? Um, yeah, I don't know. All I was kind of thinking that Hawk wouldn't care because it doesn't really bother her, you know? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't influence her life at all, really. And she uses poisons, and she was in the Smugglers, and she has a poison contact, you know? So, I don't know. I mean, I think being a rival with Isabella would be fun, but, uh... I want to be friends with Varric, and I, I'm pretty sure I want to be friends with Anders, but... I could see how rivalry with Isabella would be fun, though. I mean, I guess since I, he now sets up a shop now, right? I don't know. I don't... I don't think... I, I'm, I'm always... I'm kind of... I don't know what to do now in these... I don't really know what's the good idea to do now. I'm kind of, like, stuck. 
Like, I like this game, but I'm like, I don't want to do it wrong. And it's not that, you know, it's however you play it, so you're not going to play it wrong. But I'm just, like, not sure. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, yeah, Hawk wanted to get paid. She now has another contact in the poison industry. But just the way she's... And I, I would have said... I would have assumed she would have gone the up route. You know, like, oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. But then the way she said it's poison, it kills people. Kind of made me confused a bit. So, I don't know. I'm good with this one. I'm good with this outcome. So... What should we do next? Oh, we should... What was that one about? I can't remember. Oh, that was like a letter that I got. But we do, we could go, yeah, we could go talk to a Thenril. I'm interested if like, you know when we went to the gallows and we triggered a cutscene with, with Fenris. I'm kind of curious. I don't, we brought Anders that one time and it didn't do anything. Pretty sure, oh, uh, no, daytime. Daytime, where was I meet, Hightown? Yes, loose ends. So, Ethanerol's probably gonna be peeved at me because I told the kid to take the goods and go. But the other way was just so me, like so aggressive. And yeah, she's a survivor, but I think she respects the will to live. She respects the will to, you promised me you'd tell me how your ship wrecked. I was drunk. I thought the reefs around the wounded coast were made of candy. Oh, come on. And a demon told me to do it. It bet me 60 sovereigns and a bottle of port. You're not the only one here who can bullshit, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if we went out to, um... Oh, that's the, that's the, I don't want to go there yet. If things will have changed up in the Viscount's place with his son being back and all. Is this the way I want to go? And then this way? Oh, where isn't she? Yeah, she's over here. Hey, buddy! Well, are you here to socialize or did you bring my goods? They were, ooh, what's that? A lie? Oh, it's fingers crossed. I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie. But your property was long gone. Coterie. I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Oh, okay. Why would you... Ooh, look at that! We got friendship for lying! For lying! That's all right. It's all good. Got to keep the kids safe. Keep relations as decent as we can for as long as we can. Um We could do that or we could do Dark Town. Well, I guess I'll call this one here. It looks like, oh, maybe I should go talk to Isabella one more time. I don't, I don't know. I'll go double check with her, though. Um, maybe make the rounds one more time. But it looks like I'm getting close to finishing the first act, which is kind of not good because I didn't want to finish the first act without you guys, you know, making sure that I, you know, you're like, you know, hey, you did everything good. But I guess I can go back if, if I need to. Um, but so far, everything seems to be going okay. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this still. <laughs> um, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.